back my genius welcome to the DJI Phantom channel uh, which I created on YouTube uh, it's got nothing to do with uh, DJI themselves this is just a, a personal uh, view of my own personal experiences what um, pl um, playing and having fun with the DJI product um, the channel will be dedicated to the Phantom but also um, as we go go on we'll, we'll get in other bits and pieces and I'm actually looking getting uh, getting the next step up from the actual Phantom to the S900 uh, 900 because um, and we'll get that on the bench and we'll, we'll go through it but um, th it's just a, a basic introduction of um, all, all the experience I've known uh, we'll, we'll sh show you all the ins and outs of the, of the DJI Phantom how things work uh, I will share my videos that I um, take from this this um, get I get from this DJI Phantom itself and uh, also all the, the, the we'll show all the crashes and things like that that actually come so basically every day I'll be I'll be hopefully taking this out, flying around, getting some nice views. So we're sharing and stuff, and we'll sit down on on the, on the bench and uh, go through um, all the ins and outs. So if you have any questions or answers, or you you own a DJI Phantom and you're not sure about things, you need to ask questions about it, give us a shout. Um, basically, I'll go through and answer as many questions as you can. Uh, I also like put uh, links, share links with you guys. Uh, if I find a, a gadget that works with what I'm doing and works well, uh, again, I will we'll show these on videos and uh, share them with you. And we'll put all the links uh, down in the bottom for you so you can all click along and share as well. So it's just basically an introduction of, of this channel. So um, just all about the DJI Phantom itself. So if you like and want to follow me, um, please subscribe to my channel. And, uh, and I'll hopefully produce a, a video each week um, going through. I might do one or two a week. Uh, I'll probably film on different locations and stuff. I have various cameras to use, so if there's anything you want, guys, want to discuss about your DJI product, uh, maybe I can sort of uh, test it out, check it out, and get uh, basically get on the bench and uh, go through it with you guys. But I mean, just a very simple thing. I brought. I basically own the DJI Phantom uh, Vision Plus. It's the first one I actually brought. Um, I did actually go through the website, checking all the, all the Phantoms, and I do the Phantom Twos right up through to the. Um, Phantom Vision. At the time I was buying this, Phantom Vision was very new on the market. I didn't buy it from the UK, I bought it directly from the DJI itself, so I had to wait a little bit longer to get it through the post. But once I got it, I was actually ha happy with it. So just remember if you've not got a DJI Phantom, you're looking to buy a DJI Phantom, rem remember they don't come with, they come with a very small SD card. I think it's about 4 gigs. So it's worth actually buying yourself a bigger SD card. And the SD card I found that works quite well is the Scan uh, Scandis Extreme, um, 32 gig, um, one that I use. 32 gig is plenty on there. I, th I I'm not sure we can actually use 64 gig, but um, I have got a 64 gig one of these, so I'll try it in here um, on another video to see if it actually does accept uh, 64 gigs. But I've bought two of these and I've been using them in in the DJI, so um, all remember to have two. So one in one in there, one in your box. So if you're out about and you're flying and don't really know you've got an SD card, you know you've got one in your pack. We'll go through pack what I actually carry my packs and stuff, so you get an idea of what you need to buy. So when you buy the division, the Vision, the Vision Two, I got it on a deal where I got the um, battery came with it, and I got an extra battery free of charge. And that was a deal they're doing. I'm not sure if they're still doing those sort of deals, but we'll again if they are, I'll post all the links at the bottom, and you can go th go through if you haven't bought one already. Um, but I do recommend buying extra batteries. Each battery gives you around about 20 minutes of flight time. So the more batteries you have, the more time, the more you can be out playing. So if you go on locations, you don't want to keep coming back and forth to charge your batteries. So make sure you take as many as you can out. They're expensive. They're about 100 pounds to buy. Uh, I would buy the recommended DJI uh, DJI Phantoms one themselves, not the ones on the market that are not DJI branded. They tend to seem to have had lots of problems when they explode, expand cause lots of problems so I would definitely buy the actual manufactured brand um, batteries um, I would I would say I mean I've got two batteries and I find that I can go out to a site and chop through these batteries quite various quite quickly so I would definitely recommend buying a few more I mean I've got two I'll probably look at buying three more maybe four more basically so if I'm out and about uh, miles away from home I've got at least um, a good hour's worth of flight time on that side um, and make sure you've got good weather as well because uh, yes it will fly in good winds but make sure like for instance today I was out flying today I'll put the videos up on, on my YouTube channel 
and it was quite strong winds and uh, I had full satellite locks, I had about 8 satellite locks um, these, are, these are recommended, they'll be brilliant for flying it with 7 satellite locks once you've got the 7 GPS locked in um, they're pucker, I had 8 so it was great, stable in the air, even with the winds blowing it about it, it stays stable, so it's got a nice, fl nice flight I recommend, uh, I think it's like 20, 20 mile winds um, or 15 mile winds speeds that this will fly handle in. But I did have this quite windy actually, and it was um, when I was trying to go left with it, it was fighting at that angle in the wind, keeping it going. So um, I'm lucky enough, I didn't actually lose it. So, uh, so non windy days are the best, um, and obviously in the sunshine, brilliant, you get some really good footage. Um, I've, I've, most of the footage I actually take off is around my local town. Uh, I do it a lot above all the town areas, the back streets, uh, the, the, the parks, uh, anywhere that looks quite good. Um, I, I fly around and uh, catch up. I actually run a channel, um, well, it's not a channel, it's a Facebook group called Camlinet, which I shoot a lot of this for. Um, so again, I'll, I'll put links uh, of those videos on my YouTube channel for you to look at as well. Um, and that's basically doc documenting like the Cambly area. I've flown all over the place, and it, it, it's great. And we got to realise when you buy your Phantom, if you haven't already got it, the people that have got it, you probably already know, you probably agree with me, is it does attract a, cl a crowd of people. So when you're flying it, there'll people come over and start asking you. Lucky enough, GPS is locked on there. You can actually leave it hovering while you're, while you're chatting to people, so you don't get distracted. Um, but yeah, a lot of people ask questions, and it's great. You can interact with people. They come, they get more interested in what you're doing, and eventually they they link up to your, your your channel and sort of have a look what you're actually doing. But it's a fun product, um, and it's great fun to fly. Not just for flying it, but obviously it's the footage you actually get from it that makes it worthwhile. At the end of the day, I brought the prop guards for this, but I didn't get the correct screws for it to put in. But I'm buying them a bit later on, so I'm going to start looking at trying to fly through buildings, out through the windows especially old buildings that have no longer got windows in them, flying in and out, get a bit more um, down le low level flying, because this will do do all sorts of stuff. And I'm looking at now actually producing some uh, nice footage of my, where the town I live, taking snips from different parts of the town and then edit them all together, so it looks like a really sort of nice intro to my what the area I live. So you can do lots of lots of these. Um, if you notice on when you do search on Google for DJI Phantoms, they're used in all sorts of industries. So this is all what we call an entry level um, cockoptar. They, they class it as like for anyone to use, which is very much anyone with any experience can actually pick these up and fly with them. But they are actually used on film sets and all sorts, you know. So you don't have to have the the full professional ones. Um, this will do the job. Um, it records 1080p. So perfect resolution for YouTube and any sort of playing back to showing your family and friends. Um, but obviously it doesn't shoot 4K. So you're looking at shooting 4K and above or looking at shooting 3D, then obviously this is not the product for it. Uh, the S900 or the S1000 spread, it, uh, spread, I think it's spread it with wings. It's designed to carry bigger payloads um, and obviously more um, more camera equipment at the bottom, but this this is a brilliant product. So if you're just like me, starting out, having some fun, this is one to start with. But do remember, if you do crash it, it's going to, it will cost money. I I crashed this particular one. Uh, I lost control where I lost which direction it was actually going in. I took my eyes off it for, for two seconds, got back, forgot which direction the front was, and uh, by the time I corrected it, I ended up hitting the trees and falling over. Lucky enough, I broke a few few blades. Um, and out, but the trouble is, I actually kinked um, this part here. It kinked up, so the blades were actually spinning and knocking on here. Um, so I had to buy a new new chassis. So the new chassis, you get this top part, and you get the bottom part um, of the chassis, and you get uh, obviously the, the light, the plastic light bits that cover the lights up. You get all that included, and you get a heap loads of screws. Um, and then I had to then strip this part, and take it out. I didn't actually video it, but I will one. Um, I will on one of my videos take this completely apart, show all the gubbins inside, what what does what, um, and obviously we'll show you how I did the moving all the guts from the old case to this case. Uh, it's a long, long, long time. But um, if you're looking in a long-term investment into this, make sure you buy your DJI Phantom. Get as many batteries as you can afford. I'll say four. Two good to start off with. Get yourself a couple of SD cards. 32 gig. We'll have a look a bit later to see if it takes any more than 32 gig. Um, 
and also I would definitely recommend getting some um, carbon fly fiber blades and uh, these are these are the ones I purchased on eBay 15 pounds you get one set so you got your two uh, clockwise and one for anti-clockwise so they all screw on and they're proper self tightness as well same as the DJI is when you, when you when you buy these you get um, you get the custom fit plastic blades and if I just show you very quickly we'll go into more detail later on on, on another, another video to do but as you can see from these blades here, they're very they're very bendy, very much bendy. You can see they are very bendy. Okay, so and if you hit a tree, they will snap and, and go. But these are much much more stronger, much more flexible. But when you've got these on, you remember do not get your hands so they're spinning around to hit you. They're actually going to take skin off. But these ones will probably like give you a red mark, give you a good slap around the wrist, um, and end up breaking. But these ones are a bit more, so you have to remember if you catch catching the quad cut that's coming down. So I tend to when I take off, I tend to when I come down, I don't actually land on the ground. I actually hold grab grab it by the um, skids at the bottom, and then switch the power off. So if you're doing that, just make sure you don't get your hands uh, in the way of these um, uh, blades if you do decide to upgrade. But these are these are great to start off with. Um, you get um, you get four two sets of four, so you get eight blades in total. Um, so you've got a spare and, and some on there. These are very easy and cheap to buy off eBay or uh, um, I think they're about um, a tenner or less than a tenner and you get four, four in a pack and I've got loads of them hanging up on my on my bench. Um, but obviously we're not ready to do these. Um, they do help, these actually do because they don't bend so much. You do get much more lift, um, uh, much more powerful lift and that it does stay in the air, it doesn't wobble so much. Um, so they're pretty good. Um, that's about it. I don't think, I think it doesn't. I'm not sure if it improves speed much. I haven't really tried that, but one well, day I'll do a video where we'd, we'd race it. We'll put it on fast. We'll get it up in the air, 50 feet in the air. Then we'll put it on full throttle forward with these plastic blades, and we'll, we'll, not, we'll then mark the speed, and then we'll, we'll change them onto the carbon fiber blades. Stick on full speed to see if there's any speed differences on the blades. Well, we'll do a thorough test on that, and um, and, and I'll again video it and uh, show you guys so that's it for the moment so um hope you enjoyed what um so far my first video and uh if you do want to carry on subscribe please subscribe and please leave comments uh, i'm going to set up a twitter account so i put all the details uh on on uh, my email address uh, down below in the comments so you can keep in contact let us know what you want to see what you want to hear if you've got a phantom you're not sure about something let me know and uh, i'll see if we can actually um, get that up and answer your questions for you so thanks very much for listening and uh, catch you on the next video cheers